Who did Jesus say he was? He said he is the good shepherd. I'm telling you, that's great news, gang. Because without a shepherd, sheep are easily distracted and they're stubborn and they get lost. They don't have a defense system. Like, left to our own, it's not a great trajectory. And Jesus knows that. He says, listen, but you're not left to your own. I'm a good shepherd who's come to care for you, to provide for you, to guide you and protect you. Someone took Psalms 23, and Psalms 23 is a picture of what it really looks like to be guided by the good shepherd and what it looks like when you're faithfully following him and let him guide you and protect you and provide for you. And they basically twisted Psalms 23 and wrote what they called the anti-Psalms 23 and says, let's paint a picture of what it looks like to not have a shepherd like Jesus in our life. Let's paint a picture of what it looks like for us to wander around by ourselves, trying to defend ourselves, trying to take care of ourselves. What would that look like? And so a picture of what that would look like is this. Again, this is called the Anti-Psalms 23. It reads this way. I'm on my own. No one looks out for me or protects me. I experience a continual sense of need. Nothing's quite right. I'm always restless. I'm easily frustrated and often disappointed. It's a jungle. I feel overwhelmed. It's a desert. I'm thirsty. My soul feels broken, twisted, and stuck. I can't fix myself. I stumbled down some dark path. Still, I insist. I want to do what I want to do, when I want, how I want. But life's confusing. Why don't things ever really work out? I'm haunted by emptiness and futility, shadows of death. I fear the big hurt and the final loss. Death is waiting for me at the end of every road, but I'd rather not think about that. I spend my life protecting myself. Bad things cannot, can, can happen. I find no lasting comfort. I'm alone facing everything that could hurt me. Are my friends really my friends? Other people use me for their own ends. I can't really trust anyone. No one has my back. No one is ever for me except me. And I'm so much about me. Sometimes it's sickening. I belong to no one except myself. My cup is never quite full enough. I'm left empty. Disappointment follows me all the days of my life. Will I just be obliterated into nothingness? Will I be alone forever, homeless, free falling into void? This is what a life looks like when we try to do life on our own. And we try to be the shepherd of our own life. We try to say, listen, no, I've got it. I'll take it from here. We don't give ourselves to faithfully following the good shepherd, listen to his voice, let him protect us. This is what it looks like. There's no hope. We're aimlessly wandering. We're trying to figure life out. We're hitting dead end after dead end after dead end. And the reality is, like, Jesus wants something different for us. I think Jesus is saying, hey, gang, left to your own sheep. Man, you get lost easily. You're stubborn. You end up in a ditch, you get out of a ditch, you go and jump in the back in the same ditch because you're not that smart. You're standing on the rain, you drown because you're just mesmerized by, drain, by rain. I think Jesus, with all love in his heart, would say, hey, listen, you don't have to live like that. 